Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Chinese tier 8 medium tank, the Type 59-2. Now I released a video on it a couple of weeks ago saying what a great tank it is and it is. It's a fantastic tank and it's one that I really enjoyed playing so much so I went and 3 marked it. Although that is not the video for today because uh, we, we had quite a few good games along the way so there's two or three videos before that happens. And having 390 Alpha at Tier 8 is just so juicy. And the gun before 6.0, I mean, obviously you've got the King Dragon, right? The King Dragon is basically this tank, but it's slightly slower, has worse accuracy, but only ever so slightly better reload. And I mean, it's like literally 10.33 instead of 10. 6.9 or something like that. It's like that small a margin that it doesn't really matter. And obviously you've got this tank which has 0.34 accuracy instead of 0.36. That's slightly worse reload but like an extra 100 horsepower as well on its engine. So you get around a lot, well I say quicker, you get up to top speed a little bit faster which is pretty nice. But obviously the advent of 6.0 came along, crew skills, then this tank really lost that bit of derpiness that it had. I mean, because although 3, 0.34 is pretty accurate, right? And it always felt pretty great. It still derped a little bit. And definitely post 6.0 with the crew skills, it doesn't derp really anymore. And it's, it's pretty incredibly accurate. And it's so nice to play. I love this tank a lot. And I am like pretty damn happy that I went and three marked up. I'm so happy that... I ended up buying this tank a long time ago. It's, it's just a really good tank. So, in this game, in the first game we've got the two replays, we're on Fisherman's Bay and... Surprise, surprise, look where we are. We're in the normal position that we'd like to run to, which is F6. Which, you know, you can go to, get many shots across everywhere, and if it's too risky, you can run away and go to either flank because you're right in the middle of the map, right? And we're getting some nice shots down range. I mean, our team pushed the town. They had like two or three tanks that we got a couple of shots into that went into the town themselves. And yeah, our, our guys are pretty much crushing the town. And we are now getting great shots into the middle of their base where randomly quite a few of their tanks are. I'm not quite sure why. There was one or two that were AFK and I feel like, like this Tiger 2 was AFK and then came back and was like, oh my God, I'm being shot at. And was like, I've got to get out, but couldn't get out because he's in the middle of the open and got to the rock and died. So we managed to shut down artillery. We've now got this Indian Panzer over there. He's tracked in the open, so it's like, let's see if we can retrack him and get pen. We pen him, but unfortunately he gets unspotted, which means, yeah, no more shooting him for us. This Emil 1 is definitely AFK. Um, we just could look at that. That was barely a shot into that guy's lower plate, and we managed to snippy snipe it straight in. And because he's AFK, we were like, you know what, we're not going to reload in time for him to be alive, so let's just not, let's move up. And what we're going to do is we're going to do what the best thing is to do when you're breaking people camping on that K23 area, which is pushed to this ridge line right here, because you can stay safe from them and you can poke up and spot them. So it's a very good ridge line, ridge line to push to. The thing is with it, you've got to realise when is the time to go, because... It's all well and good saying this is a great spot to go to, to push this hill and to stay safe, right? But there's also the point where they might just be... There might just still be too many tanks alive. So you'll get wrecked as you reach it. So you've got to know when you want to go. When there's not much left in front and there's not much tanks left, you know you can push that and run into it, get the spots, get the damage out. Now we get a nice shot on the move into that 90 mil. And he's stuck where he is. And we're just going to go, you know what, let's see if we can ram you. But unfortunately, Turkey kills him and shuts down the fun kill. Because, you know, Turkey's a fun killer. But we finished that game with a nice amount of damage, nice amount of assistance. And it was a, it was a good run around. It was a fairly strange game generally, but it was a nice game in total. Four kills, 5.5 damage k damage 2.1k base 1300 assistance 170k made because it's really good credit maker ace tanker confederate high caliber and i think i just got the second mark in this game i feel like this was the second mark game might have been but yeah 2.1k base 1300 assistance that's like what 6k 6.5k combined 
me and Turkey come top. Great fun game. And yeah, it's it's tank that's definitely well worth picking up. It's a fantastic tank. And if the offer ever comes up for the King Dragon, don't pick the King Dragon up. Pick this tank up whenever this tank comes on offer. That's my bit of advice. Obviously, the King Dragon looks like the McDonald's tank. It's it's not a good tank to look at. But, um, you know, the Type 59 looks more aesthetically pleasing. But, yeah, you want to be picking this tank up as well because it's just generally better. So, anyway, we're on to the next game. And we're on Steps. And this time, we're not top tier. We're pretty horrifically bottom tier. And we're going to face in some nasty little tier 10s. And they want to hers. It's me and Turkey platooned up, and we're just going to go to the normal medium tank flank, basically, on steps, which is pushing this 890 line. We're going to use these ridge lines in front of us to try and stay a bit hull down against the tanks that are ahead of us. And hopefully, we'll be able to get some good damage off, and we won't get rushed and died. As you see, this flank is really, we are really alone. Right here, right now, this happens a fair bit sometimes on steps, where you just go to this flank and for some reason everyone just sort of sit in the TD, they sit in the TD positions at like C5, C6, and just no one moves from it. And then you realise, wait, there's just two of us here. And there's the enemy team. But, fortunately enough for us, there's no enemy team currently. No one's turned up, and we're like, hmm. That Centurion Action 10 that we spotted that was a bit more ahead of us. He's just... He's just run off. Hmm. Okay. We're not spotting anything else up on this flank at the minute. So it's kind of like... Has he gone? Is there literally nothing on this flank? Is that why he's run away? So that, that's what me and Turkey both thought at exactly the same time there. Going, yeah, okay, I think it's time to move up, you know. But then just as we move, we get to spot us up on these guys over here so it's like let's see if we can get some shots into them their, their team's doing pretty much what our team's doing look um, their team's camping in the TD spots and we're camping in the RTD spots it happens from time to time on steps not all the time steps is not that bad for it but like literally all the TDs mediums everything everything known to man is in these spots the things that you should you just look at and go why why are you there <laughs> but yeah that's the way the cookie crumble sometimes with this game right so we're going to move up, we're going to see if we can sort of push up the spots, get some assisted on these guys from our guys camping, and get some good damage out on the guys that are camping from their team. We get a nice shot into the ISU-152, and it's like, okay, let's see if we can get a shot into this Pajetto, but it gets on spotted just as we poke up, and yeah, now's, now's the time to push up and try and spot out. We're going to move up towards this rock, and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to push aggressively, I'm going to go underneath their TD gun line right because if I go to this position here anyone that pushes out will have to YOLO me right and that means they'll yellow in front of our gun line now there's a 268 version 5 in that sp spot up there which happens all the time for some reason people just camp up in that TD spot and that that spot's only really good once the flank has gone but I suppose he's probably gone in that position once because he was over here where I'm sat now and he's probably gone, right, we've lost that flat. I'm going to move up into that position. But he's getting absolutely farmed. Because once you get spotted up by people like me in this position, you become incredibly vulnerable to just shots from everywhere. Which just makes that position then a bit poo. So we're going to try and snap a, sp a shot straight into his capola. We get it in and we finish him off. We're up to 2.5k damage, 1,000 assistance. And so far this game's shaping up to be pretty nice. Especially for being so horrendously bottom tier. So we're going to try and move up, see if we can get a shot into this 268 over here. And then we spot the Progetto who's camping that little ridge line over there. We get a little bit of assistance on him, we get a nice shot into him on the move. And we're going to poke upon this little ridge line while we're a bit hauled down, see if we can get a shot into the 268 version 5. We get a nice shot into the back end of there. I was kind of hoping to set him on fire because, you know, Russian tanks, they like to burn. And we are shooting in the back end of his side there, which is where the engine generally is so you can get some juicy engine fires at times but we're, we're snapping some nice shots now into his capola and he gets shut down by artillery we're up to three and a half k damage 1400 assistance now there's a 268 and it's like okay hello mr 268 i'm gonna put a shot into your side and he's he's not really bothered with us at the minute which is quite good he's so focused on the guys in front that me and turkey are gonna rush him Get a nice shot into his side to track him. Turkey's shot both of his shots, so it's more than likely I'm going to get the kill here unless someone kills him. Ah, uh, yeah, the leopard one gets in there to kill him. 
There's only five tanks left. Well, four tanks and artillery. You can't really count. Oh, it is a tank. <laughs> that, that guy, the M3355, is just like, I'm out. Bye. Laters. See ya. <laughs> he, he rushes behind that rock. So, unfortunately, we couldn't quite get a shot at him. But I'm just like, you know what? I'm ignoring him. He can stay there. One of our guys is going to kill him like that leopard. So, I'm going to go to where the rest of the damage is, which is where their team is alive on the heavy tank flank. And this is obviously something that happens on steps as well, is that if you manage to push the medium tank flank quite aggressively, you can cash out their heavies, who sometimes this, this area here becomes a massive slog, right? And it just gets bogged down, it becomes slow, unprogressive, and it just means it takes forever to get through the flank, which then happens if you rush the flank like this, obviously, like I say, you get up behind them and get to wreck them. So we got to finish off the Brigetto, we're going to try and finish off the IS-7. Unfortunately, we ricochet off his back, well, as his Russian Space Armour, and we only had 200 pen. And we're like, okay, we're going to get the 257 Heavy kill in style, rather than killing the Tier 10 Heavy, and we finish him off for our however many kills we've got, because I don't know, there's no counter anymore. So we got four kills, 4.7k damage. 2.2k base because there was quite a lot of tier 10s we killed there. 1600 assistance. Kamikaze for killing the tier 10 in a ram. Oskins medal, ace tanker. So we've got the Oskins medal for killing three tanks, two tiers higher. It's always nice to get those sorts of medals like the Oskins medal, Levi Shilo's medal, Nichols medal, which I've only had twice. It's always nice when you get those types of medals because you're like, we had a decent game when we we're horrendously bottom tier. And that was a nice game for such a good tank. So, as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. A great success!